This is Boxing Tickets and I were here in Galway for the Mick and Elney promotion show. Delighted to be joined by Victorious. Thomas O'Toole, 9 and 0, 6 KOs. Obviously, your first fight at home. How special did that feel for you tonight? It was amazing. Like I was saying earlier, you know, the atmosphere coming out, you know, the ring walk, the production, the atmosphere, everyone screaming, singing, you know, it was, it was unbelievable. Very good. That's obviously you and both, both obviously Kieran Malloy, obviously, his homecoming, obviously, April of last year. Uh, obviously, there's been three obviously of the Galway fighters. Obviously, John Cooney, obviously Galway base as well. But none of the threes have got a, a, a stoppage yet. Obviously, on these cards. But I guess he's wanting to give values. Obviously, wanting to give rounds. Was there a stage of the fight where you th- felt you maybe could have got, got, got obviously your opponent out of there? Were you happy to go rounds tonight? Obviously, first fight since August. What was the sort of process going on? Was it I want to get rounds? Like you want to get rounds now for the first time as a pro? Was it ticking off wee boxes? Uh, yeah, like always, you know, as a as a phrase goes, you don't get paid for overtime, you know, you always want to get a stoppage, but um, the rounds are very important and you have to get them, you know, like we had a game plan and I think with the game plan, we would have got the stoppage, like I was saying, we had to kind of adapt because the ring was awful wet, like, you know, kind of, we had planned on certain movements and stuff and, you know, I couldn't pull them off because, like, my feet were slipping with the ring, you know, so we kind of had to adapt quick. It was the middle of the ring, like, I couldn't go there, it was too slippy, so I had to go around, you know, so I kind of changed things, but, um, yeah, like I said, the rounds are very important, you know, like eight rounds and like, like have Pavel there and we, we were able to adapt the game plan and it, it, it worked and it was great. You obviously helped him with some big tasty punches as well and to be fair, credit to him, obviously there's times where he's hurt and you're, you're sort of going, this is it, the end's coming. He came back and obviously landed big punches himself and you're sort of going, what, what do you have to do to get rid of these guys? Sometimes, like, some of these guys sometimes, and people have looked at your man's record and obviously six stoppages and seven defeats thinking that you're going to blow him away in a round or, round or two there tonight, but they say he's there and he's, and he stood firm for eight good, so, solid rounds. Yeah, no, we, I know, like, we're watching some of his fights, like, you know, he fought at big weights and, you know, I've seen some of the fights where he got stopped and, like, he just got injured, like, twisted an ankle and stuff, you know, so it wasn't all, it isn't all as it looks on paper, you know, like, I was watching fights and he can really take a shot and he's game, you know, so he's his most dangerous when he was hurt, like, you know, so that's why we had a good game plan of boxing, you know. Like box the fighter, you know. So it was good. Like, like I said, we had to adapt it, and you know, I had a good corner in tonight, so it helped helped adapt, and it was good. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of beating, obviously, for any future fights. Now, you know, obviously, I know you've had a lot of your fights in America. Every fight, you're always going to have that image of your head now of obviously fighting in Galway. Like, it's going to take something very special to beat tonight. Oh yeah, it was like tonight was unbelievable. Like I was saying earlier, it's the best uh, best night of my career, and so I was saying even over the elite, it it have to be. You know, the atmosphere tonight was just unbelievable. You know, like it's uh. I was saying, God forbid I never box again, like, this night will be in my memory forever, like, you know. I know that there's talk of another Galway show here for, I think, potentially, hopefully I'm not jumping the gun, but obviously it looks like Kieran Malloy, maybe towards the end of the summer. Would you, would you like to come back, obviously, with a bit, good, a good duo, obviously, the two E's, or is, is probably Galway big enough that both E's can have your own shows? Yeah, like you've seen, like, Kieran did well last year, and even tonight, like, you know, this place was sold out, like, you know, so we have good support, you know, Galway is an amazing city. And like I was saying, I'm like, this is my city and these are my people and I'm so proud to be able to come home and perform in front of them. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get bigger venues again, you know, and get even more people, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. And the people really come out and support and it was a great show and I'm sure they all enjoyed it. So they'd be willing to come out again, you know. But obviously a bit of an activity, obviously your last fight since August. I'm guessing obviously 2024 is probably getting as active probably as you possibly can this year. Yeah, so that was it. I had a bit of ring rust going in there, you know, so the rounds are very important. Like the end of last year wasn't great for me, so it was it was good to get the rounds in, and um, you know, first time doing eight rounds, and I felt good, you know, like I put the work in camp, so um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. When are you obviously hoping to get back out again? I'm guessing obviously as, as quickly as you can get get a fight locked on. Yeah, we kind of, like I say one fight at a time, but we have, we're kind of in talks for another fight already. Uh, I think I'll be out in America just before summer. That's the plan. Um, maybe sometime in May. So like nothing's concrete yet, but this year it's all about activity. And obviously, finally, for obviously the fans to come out tonight, obviously, I'm sure they have a special place in your heart, but obviously, I'm sure you want to thank them for creating a special memory for you. Yeah, like this, like I said, my people, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm, I can't even express how proud I am to be a Galway man, you know, like these people coming out spending the harder money, you know, like times are, times are tough now, you know, whether people want to say it or not. So for people to spend the harder money to come out and watch me perform, it's, you know, it's unbelievable. It makes me, it makes me so proud. The work that I've done over the last several years with Pavel, you know, like, the, what we built with Celtic Eagles and you know the Team O'Toole brand, it's it's unbelievable and, and I'm so proud. St Patrick's weekend now, I'm sure there's going to be a few pints obviously hitting your lips probably within the next half hour. 
It might be a pint of Guinness or two, all right, like, you know. But, yeah, no, I will definitely. Uh, yeah, we're heading out now and then um, have a good party planned for tomorrow night. So I'll take a few days off, you know, and spend time with friends and family. And, you know, like I said, it's been a long camp. Like, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough several months, you know, in terms of my boxing career. So it'll be good to relax now with the friends and family, you know. You know, it's, it's hard. It's an individual sport, but so many people put so much work in for me, you know, like my coaches, my family, partner, you know. So like, they make a lot of sacrifices. So it's nice about them too and to celebrate with them. Well, look, congratulations, obviously, moving to 9 and 0. And fingers crossed you some fight news soon. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you. You too, sir. Thank you very much, guys.